What's up, people? Everybody knows tonight's my soapbox. I haven't done one in like forever. But tonight I am, well, happy Father's Day to all of you amazing daddies out there and all of you guys out there that make all those sacrifices for us women and children and do such amazing things for us women and children. But Titan Medical Center and myself wishes everybody a incredibly happy Father's Day. What's up, Dragana? What up, Alex? So, I had to hop on here and say what's up to you guys. It's been a hot little minute. I know I got to do a little live the other day in case you guys are wondering what I'm looking at down here. So, instead of us going to like a dinner tonight, you know, because we were going to go to Eddie V's, considering that Eddie V's is the best restaurant in the entire United States of America. So, if you have an Eddie V's in your area, please, please visit your Eddie V's. If you live in Tampa, please, please visit Eddie V's, okay? Anyways, but tonight, I'm going to be my own Eddie V's, okay? I am cooking my famous amaretto chicken. I'm going to cook roasted potatoes. Mm. I'm going to cook green beans, and I'm going to cook corn on the cob. I feel so good about just being a woman when I get to cook because I do not like to cook. And I, my dear, my dears, I should say, multiple people, I, my dears, um, I'm not a very uh, domesticated individual. What's up, Jeff? Uh, happy Father's Day. I know you raise a fantastic woman. But anyways, so um, I do want to hop on here and say hi to everybody and tell everybody about my awesome weekend. We went to the shooting range. We went to laser tag. We went to main event. We basically did everything and anything in Orlando at Universal Studios and all the other fun stuff. So anyways, I'm cooking this dinner. So in case I keep looking down, it's because I'm trying to like mix things because I don't cook every day. So I am trying to make sure I don't mess this up and miss like some step because I'm talking to you guys. But anyways, I did have some questions for you guys, okay? So let's start with my first question, okay? And just think, maybe, I don't know. Maybe I'm just a first time parent. Last time parent. But maybe a first time, last time parent. Um, but anyways, so Peter's birthday is coming up on Tuesday. So we obviously, you know, celebrated his birthday over the weekend. And we did all this fun stuff and it was like super amazing and fun, obviously. But, so he wants to have a slumber party on Tuesday night, okay? So we're supposed to take them and do like a water park. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, there's six kids. Wait, one, two, three, four, five, six, maybe six or seven kids. Anyways, so we're gonna do six or seven kids, all right? And, you know, he's like, hey, mom, you know, we're gonna come back here, we're gonna do cake, da, 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 da. And I'm like, yeah, of course we're gonna do cake. Come back here, we have a good old time. You know, we're gonna take you guys to the wherever park you guys wanna to go to, if it rains, and we'll take you guys somewhere else, cool, we're gonna have a grand old time with you and all your buddies. So, then he asks me if they can spend the night at the house. And to be quite honest with you guys, I'll be totally honest with you guys, I personally do not like people in my home, okay? And it has nothing, it's not a personal thing, I just don't, I'm weird about it, you know, I just, I'm weird. Plus, I mean, I've never really had children spend the night at my house. I've had like maybe one or two kids spend the night in my house. I'm not usually responsible for that many children at a time, nor do I ever want to be responsible for that many children at a time. Um, I do, however, have an amazing neighbor. <laughs> I would tag her in this, but I am going to tell her to come watch this later so she can get the hint. Um, that would incredibly chaperone with me. But anyways, long story short, you know, I originally told him and I said, listen, you know what? <sighs> you know, I just, I don't think the kids should spend the night. I really don't. But mom, please, 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 please. I want to, I want to. Michelle, awesome. You're gonna come and spend the night too? Great, that would be great, Michelle. I think that'd be super awesome for you to come over and help me um, with all these children. So anyways, you know, I'm thinking about like when I grew up and stuff and you know, I personally, I never wanted to have slumber parties at my house. That is not what I wanted. I wanted to go to everybody else's house. I didn't wanna be home. <laughs> my mom used to call, call, she used to call me hot feet. Because I couldn't keep, you know, in one place at one time. I always wanted to go somewhere. I never wanted to be home. I was like, no, 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 anything but being home. I'll do anything but be at home. So anyways, you know, I kind of told him that I would think about it. And I did. And, you know, to be honest with you, John is the one that talked to me about it. And he's like, you know, he's getting a little bit older now. He's going to be the big 10. I'm old. So anyways, he is going to be the big 10. And, you know, eventually he's probably going to want to have slumber parties, right? Okay. 
So obviously I would much prefer that these children be at my house under my supervision where I know what's going on. Not to mention, I am a badass parent. Super cool, probably the coolest parent on the planet. Minus the fact that I'm not gonna let any of these children do whatever they want. So anyways, so I originally had told Peter, I don't think it's a good idea. And I'm like, you know, I just, uh, you know, let's just do the daytime thing. It'll be a fun, you know, we'll do the daytime thing, send them all home, bye. And he was kind of sad. So that's when John kind of talked to me into it and it was like, listen, you know, let's just do it, you know, and let's see how it goes. I, I think it'll be fine, you know? So we have this big area upstairs, like in our house, and it's a big, big, big area. And you know, we could set it all up where it's a cool little slumber party. So guess what? I'm gonna do it. Okay, I'm gonna do it. And I'm gonna be happy about doing it. But it's not the point. You know, I, I'm curious to know, like, for people that do have kids out there, like, how old were your kids when they went and spent the night somewhere? Or how old was your kid when you let them have a sleepover? And, you know, I'm just, you know, the people that are coming over, though, the kids that are coming over, I am familiar with the kids. Not only am I familiar with the kids, they are very, very well behaved children. So, thank goodness. <laughs> Let's see. Let, that, that, that. Let me have a few sleepovers. Oh, my goodness. Justin Holt. Oh, Jay, you know you don't want to sleep all night. Hence, might not get sleep that night either. You know what, though, Jay? Let's be real, guys. I don't sleep ever. Remember, I'm up until like 3 o'clock in the morning or 4 o'clock in the morning setting my girls up at the office for the next day so they know what the hell they're doing all day. I think I can handle that. You know, heat up some popcorn, order some pizza, throw on a movie, here's a video game, go for it. Don't break anything, don't curse, and don't throw or, you know, hit each other with Nerf guns, right? So anyways, yeah, Michelle, you're totally coming over and going to help me. And Rodney, maybe you can text me and give me some tips. Maybe there's some cool things. Look at Peter in the background. He's so excited about this sleepover party. Like, I mean, he's ecstatic. So I will say that, thank goodness, I have not invited any devil children to Peter's birthday party, or I would absolutely not have the sleepover whatsoever. That would not be okay. Maybe. 10? You have 10? Oh, I thought you said you had 10 children at your house. I'm about to say, oh my goodness, you must live in a mansion. So he's 10. Okay. All right. So maybe I don't feel that bad. So that's about right then, right? Rodzilla, that's about right. So I'm right. Yeah. Okay. So look, see, J10. Okay. All right. I was, okay, nine, all right, all right, all right, okay, fine, guys, okay, fine, so I'll do it, so anyways, if you guys have any good ideas for me, please inbox me, even though I ever check my inbox, you know, it's not like I check it to actually respond to you, so I tell you guys to inbox me, and then I don't write you back, it's funny, so anyways, here's the other thing that I do have a question about, and maybe it's just me, I am going to share this with you guys, because I actually just shared it with my massage therapist, aka Anita, she is the best massage therapist on the planet. Um, but I was just asking her, I'm like, listen, maybe I'm not up with the times and maybe this is just like a me thing and it totally could be a me thing. Okay. Cause remember you are talking three kids tops. Ugh. Yeah. There's going to be like six, but I think I can handle it. If I can handle eight women at the office, wait, eight, nine, 10 women at the office, I can handle at least 20 children. Mm -hmm. Yep. Lots of estrogen in one place. I could totally handle 20 kids. It's like running a daycare. Right, Michelle? <laughs> Anyways, I'm totally kidding for my girls that do watch this video later. So listen, guys. All right, here's my question, my next question for you guys. And it's super irritating. I'm going to share it with you. And it's my baby rant for the entire week because I've actually had a pretty positive week. So here's the deal. So you guys know when you guys have an iPhone, those of you that don't have iPhones, you suck, and you need to get an iPhone. Um, Android users out there get with the program anyways so those of us that have an Androids those of us that have iPhones you know how when you text people there's like a response thing imajiggy so let's just say for instance I text you right and I'm like hey you know I'm gonna go to the movies and you know the movies at eight o'clock did you want to meet me there we could do this this and that okay and then what you do instead of writing me back Yes, I can. Or, oh my God, cool. Hell yeah, I'll meet you there. Or whatever. Instead of writing me back like an answer in English, you take the little button and you hold down the text message and you heart it. I would love to know, what does that mean? Does heart mean yes? Does like mean maybe? Like the thumbs up? Does that mean maybe? Does like mean 
Mm, I'm thinking about it. Maybe it means I got the text, but I'm not sure. I'm confused. I want to know. So maybe I'm old school. I like an answer. I'm also OCD, so I also want like a definitive answer. A definitive answer is amazing. You know, like yes, no, yes, no, not, or hello, guys. That doesn't mean anything to me. So I'm just curious, like how many of you guys actually use that feature? Because apparently it's becoming more popular. So, I mean, I'm never gonna use the feature. I'm always going to respond with a definitive answer because I think that's probably the right thing to do. But it is really annoying. Um, the reason why it's so annoying is because I will write somebody and it's just, this has happened to me literally like 10 times this week. So I'll write somebody something and this is like, guys, you have to remember, I don't have time to bullshit and fart around with people back and forth in my text messages. Like, ha ha, he he, ha ha, go back and forth, maybe, ha ha ha, whatever. I don't have time for that. I don't have time for it. So I need a yes or a no or at five o'clock, hell yeah, I'll be there, absolutely. Not heart or like, that doesn't tell me anything and it's really annoying. So I just wanna know, am I the only person that thinks this? that it's like really annoying that people are actually responding with these answers of likes. So here's the deal. If you really are responding, <laughs> those millennials, damn it, Michelle. And is it, see Steve, okay, so I'm not, I'm not going crazy here, okay? I'm not the only person that thinks this shit is annoying. It's annoying, it's really annoying. And I'm like not, I'm not old, okay? Not old yet anyway. And even when I am old, I am not gonna look old because of Titan. But seriously. But yeah, so it's annoying. So what I think you guys should do, and this is just something I should implement because I actually had a conversation with somebody today, one of my BFFs. Okay. And you know, we were writing back and forth and he would like heart it and then respond. And then he would like, like it and then respond. That's the way it should be done. If you really want to take the time to hold something down, to heart it, like it, dislike it, sad it, mad it, uh, it. Okay. Um, then do it. That's fine. Cool. But do I think that maybe you should write like an answer after that? Definitely. Unless, which is something that my massage therapist brought up to me, maybe you just don't want to talk to that person. And I'm not saying people don't want to talk to me because they totally want to talk to me. <laughs> I'm totally kidding, but not really. Um, but yeah, so in case you don't want to talk to that person, you want it to be like a close ended conversation, then yeah, then just, you know, like, uh, I saw my bird down the street and it took a shit on my car. Cool. Like end of story. Right. So yeah, I just, just curious. So if you happen to watch this video, it'd be great. Just respond on this thread and let me know, like, what do you think about that? Do you think that that's normal? Am I missing something in this millennial generation? I looked it up and I think I fall in the millennial generation, but I don't act like a millennial. I act like, I don't know what the rest of those uh, categories are called, but definitely not a millennial. Mm -mm 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 -mm. I work way too hard to be a millennial. <laughs> not to say the millennials don't work hard, but <laughs> you guys are crazy. So anyways, yeah, I would love to know if that's like normal. Is that like a new thing? Like where you answer with the because it's not Facebook when you're text messaging people, right? Eh. So yeah, anyways, I would love to know an answer. That'd be great. Um, but other than that, the weekend was absolutely amazing. I don't have that many complaints. The only, co I will tell you about what happened at, you know, when we stayed at our hotel. So <laughs> everybody tries to turn it around because of course I'm pissed off if things don't go my way. And um, shit. So... Anyways, um, you know, we called down for our vehicle to come around in valet and we take care of our valet people. So like to some degree, especially when you stay somewhere often, if you take care of those people, like really take care of those people, when they call around my number, I do expect for the car, truck, whatever to be pulled around waiting for me. Unless you guys are super busy, then I totally get it. When you guys have nobody out there, then I'm like, okay, well, what's your problem? So yeah, I kind of threw a little bitch fit when I went down there and, you know, I was like, where's the vehicle? I called down for it 15 minutes ago. And of course, you know, the guy that's holding open the door was like, oh, you know, it's right around the corner. We parked you guys super close. So, you know, it's just going to take a second to go get. I'm like, okay. Now, granted, I have a reservation at this machine gun 
place that I really want to go to and my schedule is super crunched because remember yesterday we had to go to Orlando for the show for the Deke Warner classic show Titan show mid classic show so I was on a time schedule I don't have time to push time back like and this goes on my daily schedule this is not just yesterday I never have time to push time back like it's either now or never for me you know and I'm never on time so I probably shouldn't say that but I'm telling you, when I want something on time, then I better be on time. If I need to be on time, forget it. You better tell me 30 minutes before I need to be there. So anyways, I get down there and I felt like such an asshole because, you know, in all honesty, I was like, you know, it, I waited a couple minutes and I'm like, where the hell is my car? So the guy's like, oh, he's getting it. He's getting it. Then he asked me, he's like, what's the ticket number again? I'm like, wait a minute. Why are you asking me what the ticket number is? When I called down 15 minutes ago, I asked you guys to bring the vehicle around. I come down here. The vehicle's super, super close. We're going to get it right now. And then you asked me five minutes later, what's the ticket number? Did you go retarded in like five seconds or what? Okay. So anyways, I started getting really shitty about it. And then the door guy was like, you know, and that's not his job. It's the door guy. He's on the whole door open, you know, any little extra help he needs. I felt bad. So the guy's like, hey, you know, starts saying all this nice stuff to me. And I'm like, listen, dude, I, I'm like, I don't need to be buttered up. Okay. I'm not a buttercup. I don't need to be buttered up. I want my vehicle. It's hot. And I got an appointment somewhere and I don't want to stand outside in the hot waiting for my vehicle that y'all told me you were going to go get like 15, 20 minutes ago. So they finally bring the vehicle around. So funny part is, is that we come down today to check out and the guy, he literally, they don't take pride in their job. So the guy, he's like, oh, I was so scared to like even move the car after yesterday's fiasco that I just left it here for you, waiting for you all night. So that way I didn't have to move the car again. So I didn't want you to be upset. I'm like, maybe I look really mad when I'm upset, but I mean, when I'm upset, I make sure that people know that I'm pretty pissed off. It's very blatant. So, but yeah, I think John's almost done with his massage, which means that I better hurry up and cook because his ass is going to be hungry. But yeah, so anyways, the weekend was super, super fun. And um, this week should be super, super cool. You know, my baby's turning 10, so that's a big, big number for me. And listen, I'm going to post that video because I don't care. But listen, Peter, he killed it in the gun range. And to be totally honest with you, I was scared, super scared. And the reason I was scared is because of this. See, you know, he's playing games and I'm like, dude, these guns, they are not going to be like the video games. Okay. It's going to, it's not going to be like, bang, bang, oh, you're dead. No, it's not going to be like that. You're going to have a kickback on the gun. You're going to have shells to pop up, the probably fly in your face. And you know, I was scared that it was going to be too loud for him. He was going to freak out. And then I was even more scared on the kickback of the gun. And then he was going to do what this other chick did. And like, you know, one, one aisle over she had, what kind of gun was that, that that chick had the one? Oh, you, I think you were shooting when that I happened. I did the Glock, the Glock 19. They did a Glock 19. Glock. They did the little. Yeah. It's the, what is it? The little, eh. oh, the little ass kicker. He's not allowed to curse. So anyways, it was pretty cool though. That place is awesome. I mean, you need to get out of some aggression. That is the place to go. Go shoot some guns. And they load it for you. And they put everything together and then they just hand you the gun and take the safety off. It's the best thing ever. Anybody that's ever went to the actual range has to load their gun. It's a pain in the ass. If I could just pay somebody, you know, to sit next to me with a bucket of bullets and load up my gun for me real quick, I would just stay at the range for what we did yesterday. It was like three hours. It was so crazy. But it was a lot of fun. It was super cool. So I was really happy that he was able to, A, hold the gun and not shoot it up in the air like this. B, that he was not scared. And Michelle, yes, I think we should do a team bonding. Now, I talked about it with Chrissy a little bit about the team bonding. And I'm like, oh, you know, you got the head things on. You got to scream at each other, you know, to kind of like communicate. So it's not really team bonding. But I think it'd be a good team bonding, to be honest with you, especially for our office staff to get all our aggressions out. It's either that, or I think we should go to some place where we could put on some boxing gloves and box each other. Then we're gonna film it, and then we're gonna, we're gonna sell it on live stream. You know how much money we'd make? <laughs> Anyways, the last thing I do wanna bring up to you guys, cause it's gonna be pretty badass, is we are throwing a basketball game. It's gonna be a Titan basketball game. It's gonna be at USF, and it's coming up very soon. 
And for those of you that don't know, I did used to play some basketball back in my day. So, you know, we got some other girls on the team, like Lisa, Michelle, a couple of other girls I know. They used to play some basketball too. So we are gonna have, I think we're gonna do three on three, if I'm not mistaken. So we are gonna have people enroll and we are gonna play some ball and I'm gonna invite all of Tampa to come and see it because it's gonna be super dope, super dope. So the only thing I do wanna know is if any of you guys out there do know a celebrity basketball player or a basketball player that is well known to let me know about it because I would like to get him involved, okay? We are gonna do a charity event out of it, which is gonna be super cool. But I mean, who doesn't like basketball? And then, of course, we are going to have guys play, duh, but who doesn't like to watch girls play basketball? I mean, pretty girls nonetheless, right? So anyways, I got to get done cooking because I got hungry people. I got three boys in this house, and three boys that are hungry is never a good thing. So this is my day to be domesticated, my domesticated Sunday. I'm going to do some laundry, and then I'll wake up tomorrow and be my female entrepreneur self bring my badness, my bad boss. <laughs> I think I curse way too much on this thing, but those of you that know me, you guys are, I curse a lot. It just is what it is, you know? So anyways, if my cursing offends you, don't watch it. Um, anyways, I'll see you guys later. I'm sure I'll be able to, you know, tune you guys in to some cool stuff on Tuesday. In fact, I'll probably go live with all the kids here. No, I'm just kidding. I'm not doing that. <laughs> but um, yeah, I will definitely share our fun day with you guys. And, you know, I would really like to know some feedback on that, you know, like, love, comment thing, because I think it's the stupidest shit ever. So I could be wrong. Maybe they're, they're going somewhere with this, you know, instead of like responding with an actual answer, you can just like it. And that means yes. And if you thought otherwise, then you were assuming. And if anybody's ever told you, because you haven't worked at Titan, and if you did work at Titan, I do say this quite often, because you are not allowed to assume in my office, is that when you assume, what happens? Does anybody know the answer to that? The rebuttal to that, like that stating, that statement? Oh, look, who's on? It's John Secouris. John, I was just talking about, so when you assume, what do you do? make an ass out of yourself and the situation and all the other people involved. So like I said, I'm not going to assume what the like button means or the I love button means. All I know is it's super annoying when I'm trying to ask somebody a question and they just like my, my, my statement that I sent in the iPhone. That doesn't tell me anything. So if you do text back and forth with me, please don't do that. It's really annoying. And now I'm sure that some of you that do know me very well that know I will not bite your face off for doing it. You're going to do it on purpose just to piss me off. But that's fine. I do still love you guys. Anyways, I need to go cook. I have a lot of things to do here. So let me go be domesticated for my husband, you know, so he loves me. He loves me anyway. But anyways, he'll love me more when I'm domesticated. And I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.